I did notice on my drive home last night, the moon seemed so much bigger and brighter, Ansley. Yeah, I did too. It's funny how that stuff can catch you off guard even when you're in this field of work. It was actually bigger and brighter. So if you noticed this as well last night, you weren't making that up. We actually did have something going on in space that made things look a little bit different than normal. So I snagged this picture from the Weather Network. This is from Bonnie Sue Johnson. This is what the moon looked like last night and what it will kind of keep looking like for the next couple of nights. Bigger and brighter. Those two things will definitely be in play for the next few days. It's actually our first supermoon of 2025. Now what in the world is a supermoon? It's actually a little bit less crazy than it sounds. It's extremely common. We usually have three to four per year. It's when the moon is at its closest distance to Earth dur during its elliptical orbit. That distance is called its perigee and during this time compared to its furthest point from the Earth, it can appear 14% larger and 30% brighter. So yeah, it looks a lot bigger and it looks a lot brighter. Again, this is the first one that we've seen so far this year, but like I said, we usually see about three to four. So this year we actually will see two more. They usually follow each other. We'll see another one in November and we'll see another one in December. So those will be the two full moons during those time periods. But if you want to see it for the next few nights, you should still be able to. Last night was the actual perigee, so it was the peak. But as we go through the next couple of nights until about Thursday morning, you still should notice a difference in the moon. So head outside, see if you can see it and make sure to snap a photo and drop it in our 13 WMAZ weather network. We'll talk a little bit more about this coming up at 630 on 13 WMAZ plus for now. Back to you guys.